Today is another day, another dollar. We're up bright and early this morning. However, I slept through my alarm, so we're running late, basically. We're in an Uber right now because we're heading to, we have the busiest day ever, and I have all the days that I could sleep in for my alarm. Today's not the one to sleep in for my alarm. I don't know what happened, I woke up and then has woke me up again, so I must have fell back asleep. Today we're filming episode two and three of the podcast. Obviously it's Christmas time, we wanna get episodes up here around that time, and we're all gonna be busy, so today's literally one of the only days where we can actually pre-film some of the episodes, and obviously we need to film for Monday anyway. However, um, are we really busy? and I fell asleep. And also we've got some meetings in the afternoon, so this is how our day is gonna go. We've got episode one, episode two this morning, break in the afternoon, meetings in the afternoon, and then back in again to film episode three. And I am tired as hell. And I've not eaten, and I need a drink. And Haz is just slowly dying, but eating quavers, so. We'll see you when we get to the studio. Also, I don't know what the hell's going on with my hair. I've got a bunch of parcels to post, and it's just not a great day to sleep in, basically. <laughs> Right, we've just wrapped the second ever episode of Entirely Accurate. We're now rushing off to go to a meeting with TikTok. And then we're going to be back to film the third one. How did it go, guys? Lads, I really enjoyed it. Lovely. I really prefer this one over the first one. So if you enjoyed the first one, you're going to enjoy this one way more. And hopefully it's going to continue like that. But we're going to head to the TikTok meeting now. We've got this annoying box still. <laughs> TikTok went really, really well. Dan, who we spoke to, is really, really lovely. Um, the building's really cool in there as well. I've never been in a WeWork before. I My have. first time has My us. Um, that's all Haz says whenever we see a WeWork anywhere. Oh, now they got run over. Haz always is like, My boyfriend works there. I we're did now. Work there. He used to. We're now, um, we've just been for an Andros, and now we're gonna head to the offices and then back to the podcast studio because we've got to film the third episode. It feels weird because we re-recorded the first episode, so technically we've already been in there three times and then this will be the fourth. However, we had to scrap the first one because let's just say it was a little less than, it was a little more than non-PG. Anna, you should take photos there, actually. You should Sorry. take photos there. So now we're gonna go into the office, me, um, Becca, and maybe Paige and Robin, and then we're gonna head back over to the podcast studio in film episode three. <laughs> I'm actually so damn tired, it's ridiculous. <laughs> pressures to like be PG and stuff because we're not PG channels. But it's also like I started this. I, I literally started doing YouTube and stuff six years ago and I, I started it being say, me. Yeah. And like yeah. the entire way through it, I've <laughs> always just been myself. Not saying that you aren't. No, but, but like, I don't feel the pressure. Like I don't feel the pressure to like be a different type of person. Yeah. I've always, you know I've, I mean? al I've always swore. I've always said what That's I want to say. I've me. always been opinionated, and I've always just thought of it. People are gonna like you, but like if they like you, they like you. <laughs> Right, my camera's actually died, so I'm just gonna film on my phone. Basically, we have finished filming up the podcast. I'm so tired. Honestly, sitting there, you only sat talking, but you sat like fully getting into a conversation for like an hour solidly. And it's not like a normal conversation where you just sit and then like you'll laugh and like everyone else takes turns. You're constantly talking for an hour. And also, I didn't went to bed at 4 a.m. this morning and then woke up at 8 o'clock. And we've literally been non-stop all day long. Now me and Haz are in Westfield. Anna's left us and she's gone to get the train home. Me and Haz are nipping in a few shops in here. And then we're gonna head home. I can't believe that like, I've not seen Freya all day. I feel like I've not seen her for like the past two days. Basically, we had a lazy day yesterday. Well, I were working all day, but Haz and Freya had a like a movie day. So they were in Haz's room all day long. And I were in my room, so I didn't really see anyone. However, so it feels like such a long time since I've actually seen Freya. So I'm excited to see her as much as it pains me to say that. I actually am excited to see her. I don't know if to get this coat or not. It's a woman's from Primark. I wouldn't wear it with these trousers because these are really flared. I don't know if it's cool. I saw one in either Cos or what's the other shop? Yeah. Has what's the shop that you like? Oh, uh, Reese. Reese. I saw one in Reese actually. Yes, I like that they were really, really cool. Look how beautiful the Christmas tree is. 
Is it weird to describe a tree as beautiful? Look how beautiful it is! Joe, you know, that's hollow. What me and you that found it yeah. out? That tree is hollow, so you could go inside there, scare people. I want to come here as well when it's open. I don't know why I'm using this tin foil. Tin foil? Kitchen, oh. kitchen roll. What's it called? Wrapping paper is like a pokey stick. But we should come there, like a little winter village. Very cute indeed. It doesn't look very uh, banging, not gonna lie. It looks quite dead. <laughs> oh wow, it looks really dead. Um, yeah, so maybe we won't go there after all. Successful little shop. I went to look for like potential Christmas presents that I've been planning on getting people. I say people, I mean my family. But it was a successful day, has got me my coat. What a sweetheart. I was tempted to get it. And I would like back, I would two and, two and throw in. What is that over there? Oh yeah, they built it. There's a little fair outside the television centre. Basically, I would two in and throw in with the coat. I think it's really, really cool. But I had the wrong trousers on. I'd probably wear it. I think it'd look really cool with grey tracksuit bottoms and white trainers. So we're going to play around with some outfits when I get back and see if it works. It's not a real fair. Um, but yeah, what is it? You can't see it in the car. Do you think it's just a set? Yeah. Oh wait, I'm gonna show you what we're talking about in a second. That's probably really annoying, but has got me the coat. Successful little shopping trip. Successful day overall. We've had a really yeah, good day actually. Really it's been really day. nice. However, my back is killing. I also want to go through this bag that I got from TikTok because there's some TikTok goodies in there that I want to show you as well. Right, this is what we were talking about. There's like a little Elta Skelter and then what do you call that? A Ferris wheel. I think you can sit on that. Oh, I don't know actually. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can see on my camera. Maybe you can, but they look really, really small. I'm not sure. It could just be like for a background of something because they film a lot of stuff there. Right, so I literally just got home and tried this jacket on with some different trousers. Obviously, I put less like flary baggy trousers on. I don't know if I'd wear it with this outfit, but just like for the purpose of this, I just grabbed the trousers that were literally hung over my chair. This is what it looks like. I think it's really, really fun. Like I said, I saw one in Reese. I don't know if it were Reese, All Saints or Cost. Three places that sell really similar style clothes. So it probably could be in all of them if I'm being completely honest. I really like it. Obviously, it's only from Primark. It's £30. I just wish it was slightly thicker. Like, it's a really thin material, so, like, my shoulder's there, but I wish it sat fixed, if that makes sense. Like, I wish it weren't so, like, hugging to my body. But then again, it is a woman's as well, so it is a woman's fit. But I think it's really cool. I think it'll look really cool with, like, a tracksuit on underneath, like, a big hoodie. But, yeah, happy with this. And also, it has bought it me, so, like, can't really complain, not gonna lie. I also mentioned on the way home, I wanna show you what's inside this, because we got given this lovely little TikTok goodie bag, so I'm gonna go through that now, and then I probably should make myself some food. I've honestly hurt my back. So I've been doing, or at least I was doing, little morning workouts with like, I bought like a, I don't know what you'd even call it, like a multi-purpose bench and like weight set. And I basically started doing morning workouts because I have a thing called pectus evac. I can only pronounce it when I can see the word. I basically will, I'll put it on screen. So I have this condition with my chest and I hate it. And the only way to make it look less how it is, is um, to work out and build muscle in my chest. But it also means that building muscle in my chest is 10 times harder than for anyone else. So that's really fun. So I doing it like two months ago for like three weeks. And then I had like two months off. All the rest of the months off up until now. And I did it yesterday. And I upped my weight and I've hurt my back. So that's fun. Anyway, I'm gonna stop complaining. So in this bag, we have, oh, an extra large TikTok jump up. Fun. I have this lovely little TikTok moment if I want to represent TikTok 24 7. Obviously, we have the cute little tote bag as well. Very fun. And then in here, this is my open outfit. This bag that I was just carrying around, my Nando's receipt. We have, oh wow, just a black notebook. And it says in black, so it's like black on black. I really did need a new notebook as well. Don't know if you can see that. Oh, you can slightly. It says TikTok, but it's black on black. I love subtle little things like that. I'd love to bring out merch. Oh wow, it says TikTok on the pages. I'd love to make merch that's like black on black, but I feel like people would get annoyed at the fact that it's black on black. And then also, what's this? A little tiny TikTok suite that actually looks like a drug. Oh, it's a polo. It looks like a, an actual like acid tab. Oh my fuck, that is strong as hell. Woo! At least my breathless man goes. Thank you so much TikTok for inviting us once to the meeting and also Dan for being so nice. It was really helpful. Obviously, me and Haz and Anna have all been doing TikTok more recently. I think I upload most on TikTok out of any other platform right now. I actually really enjoy it, it's really fun. It was really nice to meet, obviously, Dan and also get some advice and stuff. So yeah, I am now probably should make some food. I have no food in. Oh, I might make salmon and eggs actually, I do fancy that. Freya's just made like a salad with cucumber and stuff. I love cucumber and now I'm craving it. Yeah, let's on tour. Anyway, gonna sort my life out and um, see what the hell has happened. I feel like a little schoolboy in what I'm wearing now. I'm just wearing that all black with black trousers, black t-shirt. Anyway, I'm gonna start rambling. Coat, success, today, success, podcast, success. We filmed two episodes, so like I said, it's coming out every Monday. So we filmed up until the 23rd of December and then we're gonna film some stuff next week as well for New Year's. 
Eve. No, the day before New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve Eve. Anyway, I'm rambling, so I'm just gonna move on from that. This polo is really strong, so I'm gonna eat this and then go make myself some salmon and eggs. Bye.